anyone want to hop on YouTube? Okay, well, um, where do I even start? Welcome to another SDLE tea time with no tea. Um, so yeah, first, if you're following along, go ahead and register in an account with TestPyPy, which, and all this information you could find online by going to pypy.org, pypy.python.org, and clicking on test pi pi. So this is the information that I copy pasted over to the notebook. And since we're not going to be uploading anything to pi pi, you don't delete this line and delete this chunk of code. Okay. So now that's aside. Python packages. They so what are they? Right. They're kind of like our packages. It's a bunch of functions put together into one giant folder. And so there's, in Python, there's a lot of ways, there's, well, two main ways to import packages. So if you downloaded Jupyter from the Anaconda distribution, these should already be pre-installed on, pre on your machine. And well, the main thing to note here is that you could just import something upright and to call this to call any function from this package later on you have to type out the entire thing and dot function name so a shorthand would be to import a package as and then give it a name we've seen this in the past with numpy a lot so and then now if you've if you've imported this as np to call numpy in the future all you have to do is you say numpy well np dot function name and another cool thing with um, Python and it's equivalent to some other languages importing a package dot star in Python you do from a package import star and it imports every single function that will function or inner package that is within that package so typically you won't want to just import everything from scipy but it's available if you want to do it. And I have some running code here. So here, I import everything from NumPy. Let's run that chunk of code. Why did it start on 4? Oh, well. So I've imported everything from NumPy. And note here that I can't, since I didn't import NumPy itself, it doesn't know what NumPy is. So it's going to throw me an error if I try to call the function with the NumPy dot notation. Um, I think I'm going a little too fast. So it's, it's going to throw me an error if I call a function with a numpy dot notation. But since I've imported every function from numpy, the cosine 5 works properly. And this I think I put in here to show just a, a cool little mat, matplotlib. So yeah, so that, that was the from package name import star and this is just importing a a package so let's go ahead and import that and now though notice that i've only imported this package it will not know what plot is because it doesn't know where to find plot you have to pass it in the package name to find plot so if i do that that would work tell me if i'm going too fast too so if I do that, that would work. And so what, what if, you know, I don't want to type out this giant thing? Well, in, there is a convention with using matplotlib.pyplot. You import it as plt. And so if you now, since I've associated the plt with this package, you could just run plt.plot and it'll plot out the beautiful sine wave. So if you're interested, you could find documentation for NumPy, SciPy, and matplotlib on these links. These are some pretty good and solid links. And NumPy and SciPy has a lot of, there's a lot of functionality in NumPy and SciPy that that's just not going to be able to be covered in all the tea times. And with matplotlib, same thing. With matplotlib, you could 
plot a bunch of cool graphs and stuff if we visit their gallery. But I'm digressing. So let's make some Python packages and upload them later on. Um, pip is kind of like CRAN for R, C-R-A-N. It's where all the Python packages are located. And it's super easy to download. I, I believe if you have Python on your machine, um, for the most part, it will have, it'll come with pip pre-installed. But let's just hop over to the site and look at it for a bit. So there are currently that many packages here. And <laughs> what? I don't even want to try to do that. And um, so you could see it's uploaded daily. And these are updated daily. And these are just some of the packages people have uploaded today. And there are a lot of packages. So you could go under Browse Packages to see what there is. And so you could see that um, they listed by topic, environment, framework, etc. And then there's like operating systems down here. There's licenses. And it's there's a lot of packages in pip. So let's go and build our own and add one to whatever that number was. OK, we're, so to not cluster up this main um, Python package index site, there is a testing site um, that people can use for testing. It is, it's essentially the same thing, but this site actually gets wiped once in a while, so you don't have to worry about clustering up the site. And as you can see, there's a way smaller number of packages on the site precisely because that it's wiped once every month or whatever. I don't know. It's, it's wiped periodically. And you could see some of the things that I've been testing with. Oh. So yeah, how do you install a package from pip? You, so installing packages from pip are actually really simple. We're going to be installing the start pi pack really soon here. But first, there is a minimum structure that all Python packages need to have. And this is just, it's a, it's a little intro, an introductory um, intro to packages. Uh, website, I don't even know. And it kind of walks you through their creation of Funniest, which is a little fun package that Python created. Uh, okay, so start PyPack. Nick here has actually created a package specifically designed to help create Python packages. And <laughs> One. <laughs> and so to install it, we hop over to our command window and we say pip install start pypack. And this will pull start pypack down from pypy and install the package onto my machine. Hang on. OK, so now that we have start pypack, we need to know how to use it. Uh, actually, if I hop over to Anaconda lib, if, by the way, if you have Anaconda, this is where all your Python packages are installed. By default, if you install it from pip, if you, know, if you want to take note of the, the path, and so if I list everything in there, you can see that start pi pack is, if I could find it, is right, I can't find it. It's right here. Yeah. And if I cd into start pi pack, you could, these are all the, all the files that start pi pack provides us. And today, we're mostly going to be looking at make package and make function. So we could open up make package and see what's in there. And so as you could see, so OK, this documentation, this doc string 
is essentially Python format. It actually, if you do it this way, it'll show up as the help, the, the documentation help in virtually every environment you, you, you use. So for example, if I import it from here and type in a question mark, which is the help for Jupyter, it, it'll pull up this giant doc string, which is created here. So that's, that's kind of just like Python formalism. Uh, so yeah, and we could open up make function and see what it does. If, oh, dot pi. This, this is what it does. So notice here with um, make package, the default working directory is your current directory. And I'm not going to be messing with that in this presentation, but you can mess with it just by changing the working directory key name. And with, um, so with make package, you pass it the package name. And really, that's it. The package name needs to be a string. With make function, you pass it in the package name you want to make the function in and your function name. And again, the default directory is the working directory, which, so it, it's, it's defaulted to where you've launched Python. And I'll, I'll be working with these later on. And is there anything else I wanted to mention? So yeah, so make function takes two strings. And make package takes one string. OK, let's create a sample package. The sample package I'm going to be making, let me cd into the right. Um, directory first here. Uh, Python package demo, I think that's... Okay, yeah. So now we have an empty directory. And to make things a little easier, I'm actually going to just open up a new tab. I'm in this directory, and I'm going to launch Python within this directory. So this is where that working directory comes from. So now if I call the make function or Make, make package and then call the make function. It'll make the package within this directory. So now we import start pypack, if I could spell, and start pypack dot make, make package. Package. And let's make a math plot package. And so now, if you hop over to this, you could see that there is a math plot package in there. And um, if you look at the structure within the package, you could so start pack automatically creates everything that you see here. And uh, yeah, we'll be talking about some of these in the future, like later today. But Let's just go make a function. Uh, so start pi pack dot make func um, math plot and let's plot another sine wave. I think I called it sine plot. Hang on. Yep, I called it sine plot. Sine plot. And so now what this does? Whoa. <laughs> what this does is, if you treat this again, we have created a sign plot function within the, the within this package. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to create one with labels, and you'll see later why I've made it. But <laughs> wrong one. Okay. Well. And so now we have this sign plot and sign plot with labels. And so to edit these, you cd into the correct directory. Um, I think it's three levels down. Yes, OK. So you cd into the correct, cor correct directory, and you open it up with open or just open your favorite text editor. Anything works. So here you could see that, um, let me close these. The, the default of any function created with start pi pack is just returning a result that returning the sum 
of two input arguments. But we want to plot a function, or at least I want to plot a function, that I want to have a function that plots a sine wave. So let's give it a descriptive name. Well, not name, a descriptive um, header. So this function plots a sine, if I could spell, wave. And so in here, what you could do is you could, you, do, you could really just do anything. In my case, I want import. I want numpy. Um, and then I want matplotlib. .pyplot as plt. And so I initialize x to be numpy.lin space. Let's start at 0 and at 10 and um, 1e6, why not? And let's let y be sine of x. And that's not going to crash on me because there we go. And so we do plot plt.plot. I hope I didn't spell anything wrong. X, Y. And this should plot out my sine wave, and I need to take that out. And this should be able to plot, plot out my sine wave once I call it. And the sine plot with labels, what I wanted to do with this is call sine plot and add some labels to it. So this function calls sign plot and adds labels. So we we want to import sign plot into the function, and you do that within the package by the from from command if. You, uh, what do I call it? Math plot from math plot import a uh, sign plot. I hope this works. Um, import num. Nope, I don't need numpy. I need matplotlib. Uh, pi plot as plt. And now I can just call sign plot. And let's add some labels. X label. Uh, label it x and plt dot y label and label it y, and that that should add the labels onto it. Actually, with this, I don't know if it works with general Python, but in Jupyter you could LaTeX these labels, and I, I, I might work there. Later, but now that we have saved these files, we want to install it on our machine, so we could use them. Uh, so if you actually cd into the parent directory here, you could see there's build.py, install.py, setup, and upload. So the upload or is for uploading it to test pypy and the actual pypy, and we'll be using that later. Setup, we might be using it later. But if we look at setup, open, you could see that it's kind of like ours formatting where it's there's just everything that needs to be there. It has everything. And if you want to, we might be incrementing the version later this talk if I have time. And yeah, that's that. You probably won't have to mess with it, but it's there. And install installs it on your computer. So if we open up install.py, it prints out these messages to your computer, and it installs the package. So this, in, this installs it from testpypy, and this installs it locally. Let's just do it locally for now and not worry about test pypy. So if I just run python install.py, and it asks me for a password, and is it installing? It's successfully installed. So now, if I hop back to where my packages were, 
um, you sh if you're following along, you could see this installed in where start PyPack was. But actually, I'll just hop over. Let's do a new tab, CD, Anaconda, lib, iPhone, site packages. And so if I list all my packages, you can see that math plot is somewhere. It's right there. So it's installed on my machine. And so now I can easily import it. I've imported here as MP because math plot, but you don't need that if you don't want. And if I run mp.signplot, it gives me a cool looking sign. If I run mp.signplot with labels, it gives me the, the plot and the labels. So that's, and notice here I've never imported matplotlib onto onto the, the this local thing I'm working with and yeah so now that I think we're ready to upload this yeah let's upload it okay so uploading to test PyPy you first have to register uh, do I still need this I'll just keep it open uh, that's so to upload to test PyPy, if you open up the upload file, I hope I'm in the correct directory. Hey, okay. So this is for the real PyPy. And we're not going to be touching that today, but if you use start PyPack, you can uncomment these if you ever want to upload to the real PyPack. Oh, to the real PyPy. And this, what we're doing here is we're going to be uploading it to the test PyPy. What you have to do first, though, is you have to register the name with the system. And the name has to be unique so that test PyPy knows what you're trying to install. So let's go ahead and register that first. Uh, so if you just Python upload.py. And it should. Okay, well, that happened. Um, registering Mathplot to the server response. Ah. Did I not? Yeah, did I not do? I thought I deleted it. I did. Math plot. Let's try that again. Python upload. Nope. Okay. Well, this is fun. It's um the the line that's uncommented is um the register. This guy. Or we could just try another package. What's the error though? It's this API has registering math plot. I know I deleted it. Did someone else take it? Oh, maybe. Let's try it. Yeah, it's not there. So this line, at least, is supposed to register a name for you. It's not working right now. Um, 
I didn't save it. Do you know? Yeah, do, do you know the error? Like yesterday? <laughs> and then I deleted it. Should I do another package name? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or we could create a new, should I just create a new file? Should I just create a new package? <laughs> okay. Well, wait, run through, just make a new package or? Okay, let's let's do this again. I don't need to import. Start PyPack. Anyone have a good name? <laughs> Make package. Um. Testing. Um. What is up with? Just testing what is up. <laughs> Um, so now I have this, I can actually, whoa, wrong thing again. I could hop over to, to, to and it's another directory down, right? Yeah, so open, open the upload to this guy. And you don't have that, comment that, save it. Yep, hold it. And so Python, let's try it. Nope, <laughs> that's the issue. Okay, well, we figured that one out. So, <laughs> So, okay, yeah, before you upload it, actually, I do have it in my in my little cheat sheet here. I just, I was confident. You have to first run build.py, and then you can upload it. Um, I, I was overconfident. So if I, one more directory down. So yeah, we have to build it first, Python build. Pi. And now that it's built, so you can see it added in some different things, the egg, and what else did it add in? I don't remember. There was a build file, build folder, I think. You don't have to change any of that. And then you should be able to do Python upload.py, hopefully. Maybe. Am I in a correct file? And it said it's wrong still. OK, let's just use our other one. I, maybe it's because so I've done too much things. Try to oh. OK. I mean, if it worked, oh, well, that happened. If it worked, refresh. It's not on there, but we could try it. Let's open it up. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Is it that one or that one? It's this one. Um, I found upload. Was that it worked or did it not work? There's an error message. 
yeah, let's let's go to the test to what is up. So we build it first, and then we upload it. Let's open up the upload file to make sure we have the right thing. I'm pretty sure I have the right thing. Uh, nope, I do not have the right thing. Wait, no, that's math plot. I don't want that. Don't save it. Okay, yeah, I had the right thing. And so we can upload it. Nope. We run the Python script. Okay, yeah, no, that... <laughs> Apparently they changed something. Well... Wait, so it, it says this API... Located at pypy.org. Oh, this. Oh. Well, troubleshooting time. I told you something was going to blow up. Um, so I have. Wait, no, that's. Wait. Mm, if I could find it. So it's um nope. And so open dot p is it p one p there it is. Okay, so wow, that is tiny. So well, welcome to knowing my password and username. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is broadcast on YouTube, so. <laughs> Repository. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh, it's, is it change it to colons? Is that? Because I have it equals. Let's try that. Um. Yeah, that that looks right. Um, CD, Pi, uh, SD, LET time. Um, what did I name it? Pi package. And then math plot. CD, math plot. Uh, what? Do I need now? I could. I should just be able to Python upload. Yeah. Hmm. Wait. This is. This is math plot. Yeah. Okay. I'll save that, and then Python upload. Nope. Well, it's supposed to be able to upload. Um, so they changed something between yesterday and today. This is fun. <laughs> it was working yesterday. Oh. Nope. Used to wait. 
uh, what's that think about the legacy? Dad? Test by play slash. Well, mm, uh, okay. Well, PyPy.org is a new rewritten version of PyPy that is replacing the legs of the old PyPy.Python.org. It's eventually going to become the default PyPy, which is, I mean, it, it's kind of nice, but I want it to work. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe I could go back. Mm -hmm. Open up. I I see. So we have that. I could just copy paste this over. So that's, oh. That's for the non -tasks over here. Oh. But you go back over. I think they have suggested one for the tasks over here. This? Yeah. Replace that with the second. Oh, okay. Let's try this now. CD math plot. But, oh, uh, <laughs> I have no idea where I am in my directories anymore. Uh, maybe, we will find out right now. Yeah, it's safe. Uh, and then ls, math plot slash math plot, um, upload? Yeah. Something happened. <laughs> Writing traceback file setup.py. What? What's in setup.py? Is there something that needs to be changed here? Hmm. Install build. From here? Hmm. And include a repository. Well, good news is I have some. So if we figure that one out, so you. To, to upload, you, you'll actually also have to install Twine and Wheel, which isn't too hard. And it, um, it does stuff. It allows you to install, not install to upload. But, but since I already have some pre-uploaded pre things on, on my test PyPy, let's just download another fun test. I think that's what I named it. 
Okay, that looks about right. So as you can see, I can install things from TestPyPy once this mess of uploading figures it out. And so now I have successfully downloaded another fun test. And UE should be able to see it now also in this directory. Way up with the A's. Another fun test. Did I scroll too fast? I did. Um, it is right here. So as you can see, it's in the same directory. We could use it with another Python session. So if I just did um, import another fun test, it, it imports. And since um, I do not remember what what stuff is in the thing, and another other cool thing is they do have the tab completion, and I believe fun function. Let's see fun function. Let's see what it does. It adds two numbers together. Okay, well that's fun. Um, nine and four but yeah so you can upload to test pi pi test it upload to the regular one yes chris so nick But yeah, that was that's essentially all for today. We're not going to be able to since we can't even upload it. There's no, you know, changing the version. It's just not going to happen. But I do have some useful links down here if people want to play with it. And all of this is on Bitbucket. And with my math plot package that I can't upload to test PyPy right now. <laughs> Questions? Any plans for a major package? Uh, no. Uh, maybe that's going to be really much in the future, though. Are to use that <laughs> True. True. Questions, comments? Cool, I guess we're done for today. Uh, how do I quit this? I don't <laughs>